Hey guys, it's Hippo Kitty here today, and today we're doing our first actual tech review. Um, we did a review of the mic here back when I got it, but it was only in, in portion of video. It wasn't a full dedicated video. Um, today we're talking about the At Games Genesis. Now, the At Games Genesis is not a bad little thing. It's a retro retron style system where you can plug and play cartridges like you can actually put like my tiny tunes here you can actually put it in and you're able to actually play it, it uses original genesis ports so you can actually use your genesis controllers which is really nice and it actually came with uh wireless ones and as you can see it's got a menu and a start button, and it's the six button con oh, it was the wrong side. Uh, six button controller style, uh, which is good for like fighting games, but a lot of games don't take advantage of it in the early days. Like Tiny Tunes, you have run and jump. <laughs> That's it. Um, the Genesis at Games Genesis is actually pretty cool, and I was happy I got it. I got it for like forty bucks at a local store called Bookman's, uh, really good store. If you live in the uh, Phoenix, Tucson area, you may have heard of it. Uh, they have two in in the Phoenix area, one technically is Mesa, and then there is the one in North Phoenix, and then there's one down in Tucson. I'm in Phoenix, so. <laughs> but as much as I like it, uh, to be able to play the games that I have for my Genesis, it's got a lot of problems. Uh, we'll get into that in a little while. Give me just a second. I'm going to actually go grab the box. Alright, so I had the box here. This is what it looks like. The 80 built-in games. Um, it's got a lot of good collection. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's got a large selection. Some of the more notable titles on here are Altered Beast, Alex Kidd, Alien Storm, Decap Attack, Golden Axe 1 through 3, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, Sonic Spinball, Sonic 3 Blast, and Sonic and Knuckles. All really good. Um, there's also uh, Shikan, um, which I did a review of. I actually have the actual cartridge, but it is on here too. And that's all fine and dandy. There are some odd games on here like Dr. Robotniks which is a Mega Man game on the Genesis which is kinda of fun but it's not it's not what you think it is I'm sorry I, I messed that up Dr. Robotnik is from Sonic Dr. Eggman uh, that's what I'm used to calling him it does also have Echo, Echo 2 and Echo Jr. E-SWAT, Eternal Champions, Fatal Labyrinth Flicky, Game Ground, Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3, which anyone who played Genesis games, Streets of Rage is the beat em up game for the Genesis. You could throw in that, like the Ninja Turtles and the Power Rangers games would also be good in there, but most people, when they think beat em up on Genesis, they think <laughs> uh, Streets of Rage. Now, there's Virtual Fighter 2, Vectorman, Vectorman 2, um, Arrow Flash, Bonanza Bros, Columns, Columns 2, Comic Zone, which Comic Zone is awesome, and Crackdown. Now, there's a big thing I noticed in here, like with like Rystar, Kid Chameleon, Jewel Master, Shadow Dancer, Shinobi 3, and The Ooze. These games aren't aren't the most known. They're they're pretty fun though. Uh, especially Rystar. Rystar is really pretty cool. But that's all of the actual first party like Sega games. The other remainder of the games, which is here down, all the way across, um, they're all made by Act Games. They're, they're stupid little games, like kind of things you'd put on your phone that just to eat up time and not actually have a story or anything. Like I think Mahjong is on here. Yeah, uh, Mahjong, uh, Panic Lift, Black Sheep, Bomber, Battletop Race, Brain Switch, just stupid little puzzle games. 
Now, just because the game's included in it, it's pretty cool. There's a few problems with it, like I mentioned earlier. First, what's the problem you see here? That's right. It's only got one audio output. If you're playing on and don't really care too much about the sound like you listen to music while you play games, it won't affect you much, but it only plays through one speaker on my TV as well as on my little adapter here. I have it plugged in and it only plays through one speaker because there's no second input. Uh, there's also a notable dip problem because I'm assuming this is uh, like a Raspberry Pi. Looking in, it looks like it actually is Raspberry Pi, and like with a couple of new attachments added to it. And <laughs> to be honest, it's got bad sound. Anyone who's listened to Sonic knows what it's supposed to sound like. Anyone who's played any of the Sega games knows what they're supposed to sound like. Uh, the pitch is off. It sounds like there's like a lot of tinniness to it, not a lot of bass and everything's off key like everything sound effects music everything that's not a big problem when you're just playing just for the play but if you just love that sound of that music you're gonna hate hate it um there's also a couple of like uh, scroll errors like there's like screen tearing here and there and I I can't justify justify that. Um, there is some lag I've noticed, especially with like Sonic and things like things that are really fast. There's a lot of delay, and then you get to the controller that comes with it. Yeah, it's comfortable, feels nice in the hands, D-pad and everything feels good. Feels like a you know really good Genesis controller, but. It doesn't have an attachment. See this little guy right here? You have to point this at that just to actually be able to use the controller wirelessly. Um, it's, it's very frustrating, to be honest. Uh, I'll, I'll splice in here some video for you so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the front end system. As you can hear, the sound effects are kind of odd in the system. It, it is a nice looking menu. You get a little preview of the game on the right with the names and everything, which is nice. They even went through and made sure that they had the first party Sega games. Like, not necessarily first party, but. Sega games that are made for the actual Sega Genesis back in the day, they do have mixed in here in a alphabetical order before you get to their games. Which, again, bunch of shovelware. Like this Frogger clone, uh, Curling 2010. Come on. <laughs> it, it feels nice. Uh, I'm not using the, the controller that came with it. I am using my own Sega Genesis controller just because I don't like the way that I have to point at the Genesis and with my current setup I can't actually do that so you'll also notice that you're only coming out of the right headphone or right speaker which is annoying I'm gonna go ahead and go into the most famous Sega game Sonic the Hedgehog so you can hear the sound effect problems Sega. I'm gonna go ahead and add this bit. As you can hear, um, it does not sound right in the slightest. Everything sounds off key, and parts of it sound muted, like it's missing a note. I'm gonna go back, turn back down again. Alright, that's, as you can hear, it, the sound effects sound wrong. There is a slight delay, um, 
you can see the jitteriness with my, when I'm moving, how everything seems kind of slow. And I've noticed that with both my TV and this system, because I am doing this through my computer system, I have noticed that it does it on both, doesn't matter what I'm using. And when you start going fast, which I'm trying to do so I can show you here, everything just kind of stops working right. Like, you can see how slow he's moving, you see, like, jittering from the scroll, everything blurs, like, bad blurs. Everything is just kind of off, off key. Everything. It's still very playable for me. Um, a lot of people who have never played uh, Sega Genesis could use this as a entryway into some of the more popular games, especially if they've never actually heard what it's supposed to sound like. Which, given today's generation, that's very possible. Um, but people like me, who actually played this when I was a kid, will notice it right away. And I could deal with it for the most part. I, I think that they could resolve some of this if they weren't using the Raspberry Pi system and actually did just straight hardware emulation. But that would be very difficult. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off here. Alright, so, um, I can't give it a huge potato rating, uh, as much as I would want to, I can. Uh, it does everything it needs to do, it, it plays, it loads games just fine, plays cartridges just fine, but, sorry, uh, the, the, the screen tearing, the sync issues, the off-coloring a little bit, I noticed while playing there, and the audio just kills me. The controller that came with it, uh, though it feels great, uh, the fact they have to point it at it like a TV remote is beyond stupid to me. Especially with Bluetooth technology as cheap as it is, you could have it as a Bluetooth controller. But I think that's all just because of the uh, Raspberry Pi infrastructure in it. And they took up all the slots just doing the cartridge emulation, which is nice. That's me putting my cartridges. Uh, it's worth picking up if you just want something to play the games. You don't care so much about the way it sounds. Um, if you're willing to deal with some of that screen tearing and things, $40 is nothing. Um, but me, I'm probably stick with my regular Genesis. Uh, I have to go pick one back up because uh, I traded mine in just so I can get this one to review it. Uh, the games that came with it, really fun, good collection, good starter for anyone who wants to get into playing the Genesis games. Not so much collecting, because, you know, collecting, you need the actual cartridges. Um, but yeah, I'll give us three and a half potatoes. Uh, it, it's definitely something that is interesting. Uh, it was sort of like the NES Classic before the NES um, Classic Mini, but... Uh, because it's only got the two inputs, it only plays on one speaker, if they would fixed that, that'd be fine. I don't even care if it's HD, as long as it, I'm able to play it with full audio. Well, tune in next time for another review. Once again, this was Hippokitty. Remember, always follow your dreams. Peace, peace.